is there in this question which Feynman diagram shows beta plus decay okay so first of all we must know what is a beta plus decay and when does it happen so there are basically two reactions one is for beta minus and another is for beta plus and uh, we have been discussing those two reactions so many times now like um, uh, so you must all be already knowing it but by the way i would be writing it here also so beta plus decay it is a decay of the proton and proton it decays into neutron and the charge has to be conserved this is plus one this is zero so a positive electron is created which is called positron and it is also known as beta positive uh, particle along with it because this is having a lepton number of minus one because it is anti particle of electron so the lepton number is minus one so there has to be a particle before which the lepton number is positive and uh, that is why it is neutrino so electron neutrino although the charge is zero as well as the mass number for the neutrino is zero so this is the total reaction that is coming up so uh, when we are reading this Feynman diagram what is actually happening is here proton is having up up and d quark composition and neutron is having up down down composition for the neutron and so one up quark is getting converted into one down quark this is what is happening and this is what is shown here they are starting all are starting with the up quark isn't it like here but d is starting with the down quark so d is definitely out of the picture now okay so coming back to uh, the options again now you see how are you going to read a Feynman diagram I've earlier told you that there is one axis which is taken to be as time axis either it will be horizontal towards right hand side or it will be upwards um, which will be taken as the time direction so in this case uh, I think horizontal time direction does not make any sense yeah because these two are not reacting no this is the resultant so the time is going in the upward direction that we are not sure about this it means this is the time stamp one this is another time this is t1 and this can be taken as t2 some other time so these two events are basically separated in time so u is a particle it is a quark which is coming and the direction for the u shown here is correct and it is coming here and at this juncture at t1 it separates itself into two parts w positive is created and d quark is created both of them are created now this w positive is created it goes to this point so w positive like this is after the event so before the event there is only w positive so w positive goes there and it divides itself into two parts so one is a anti particle another is particle both of the directions shown are correct this is positron and this is the electron neutrino so that is perfectly uh, clear there and so this is w positive and i think like there should be no problem in this uh, let us go for B also. Let us analyze that. So there are two timestamps now, this one and this one. Clearly, at this second timestamp, which is at T2, we can see that W is coming and this is coming. Both of them are coming. It means that the anti neutrino that is shown here, it is colliding with W positive boson. And after the collision, there is only one particle which is positron this is not happening in this reaction what is happening in this reaction is this is definitely i think a should be the correct answer i believe uh, uh yes even this is w positive positron and this yeah yeah a will be the correct answer but let me uh, tell you this thing once again yeah so this is the two timestamps and uh, w positive is there so what is happening you see in the first case u is getting divided into d and it is creating w plus boson and w plus boson at t2 at this at this juncture it is getting converted into two parts one is positron and another is neutrino this is what is happening so when you add these two reactions this and this gets cancelled out clearly u is converted into d positron is created anti neutrino is uh, sorry neutrino is created so this reaction seems to be absolutely correct isn't it now let us go to d option like this uh, see 
let us go for C option now. This is W minus. Why do you think that W minus will be there? Uh, this is not having any charge. So this is having plus one charge and W boson is having plus one charge. So charge is conserved in A. But in C, if you are creating W minus, the charge is not conserved. At T1 as well as at T2, charge should be conserved, which is not conserved. Clearly C is also wrong. Let us go for D now. So this is the timestamp 1. This is timestamp 2. But here you see this direction is against the time. So time is going up. But this direction is going in the downward direction. It means that this branch should uh, uh, depict antiparticle. So it, the positron is an antiparticle. It is okay. But this is a particle. This is, this is neutron, ne neutrino. So neutrino, the direction shown here is antineutrino. So that is why D is also wrong and clearly the answer will be A. So this is how we understand these Feynman diagrams and this question. So according to me, the answer is A. I think it is pretty clear now. See, all the conservation principles will be valid at this junction. All the princi principles, they will be valid at this junction also. That is why the charge will be conserved here also and here also. So accordingly, you can see like what is happening. And uh, we can see. So this is how we do this question. So your answer is A. Let us verify it from the mark scheme. If uh, they are also getting the same answer. And yes, the mark scheme is also saying that answer is A. Thanks for watching the video, dear students. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions. All the best. Bye.